So one character that I really love in, of course, The Rise of the Shield here is, of course, Melty. Of course, the future queen. She is destined to be the queen. That is, you know, her role going forward is that she is meant to be the queen. Of course, you know, Volume 3, she's been introduced. She's there to kind of try and bridge the gap between the Shield Hero and the King. And I feel like she's thrusted into a job that she is destined to lose. She's just She's in a losing battle. And I think it's for a multitude of reasons. Is One, she's going into this very ignorant thinking that, oh, well, Father will listen to me. He'll do, you know, the right thing, come to the table and try and talk. And then the shield hero, you know, do the same thing. And she, she acts like a bit of like a spoiled princess. I mean, you know, her sister is much, 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 much worse. And if we had to pick, yeah, you know who is definitely the far worse a person because she is just narcissistic, evil, vindictive, manipulative, and uses any situation to prop herself up to make herself look good along with the spear hero, but the spear hero is just like, just not a boy on a leash, you know, following her around, doing as he's told, and believes anything, but then the other two heroes aren't exactly, you know, innocent of being smart, they're definitely idiots themselves for believing some of the stuff out there, but they definitely are the first to kind of see the situation a little bit by little bit that things just don't add up. And I think, you know, Melty being thrown into this situation is a learning curve. I think her mother did that deliberately to try and teach her some skills, to teach her the reality, and teach her that things aren't just going to go your way just because you want them to. And I think that's the problem. I think she goes into this with this spoiled mindset of, well, you do, I tell you to do this, you do this, I'm royalty. And definitely, you know, she is much more mature than, of course, her other sister, the older one, but there is still definitely those moments where I feel like she has definitely got a lot of maturing. But again, you got to realize her age. She's young. She's learning. And I think, again, that is why her mother threw her into this, to teach her some responsibilities and teach her the reality of, well, just isn't so sunshine and rainbows. And as she learns more about the reality of the situation, she learns just how bad things are, especially when guards try to kill her just to frame the shield hero. And then the reality is, oh, my my sister is trying to kill me to gain the role of being queen and also make the shield hero look bad. I think the thing that kind of irks me the most is, you know, when that reality hits, eh, the others don't really seem to budge very much. They're kind of, you know, a little bit, eh, you can see what's going on and things are getting really out of hand. But the other two are kind of like, hey, you know, maybe you shouldn't, but then they're just kind of like on the side and I don't know. I feel like the other two kind of stand on the sidelines too much and don't really think. But again, flawed characters. I, I, I definitely find flawed characters very interesting. That's why, again, I also like Melty because she goes into this unprepared in a losing battle. And you can clearly see that her mother is, of course, sent her into this as a learning curve. It definitely is a learning experience. But one thing you also got to note is that, you know, definitely her life was at risk. And she could have died. But I feel like, again, the ninjas in the shadow would have stepped in if necessary, but they didn't because I think they felt that the shield hero was going to do everything and anything in his power to protect her, and I think they could see that. I feel like if things got really bad, they would have stepped in. I think they were very, very much keeping an eye on the situation. But there are definitely moments probably when, you know, they weren't perfect in the sense of like keeping a complete eye there was probably so much chaos going on that they probably weren't again always there but i feel like they were probably very close behind her and keeping an eye on things and they would have stepped in when necessary plus they were also reporting all the information back to the queen as well so i just think it's one of those really interesting character developing moments especially in the third volume and going forward and seeing her introduction her growth very quickly in that volume and some of the things that she had to face reality of. And of course, trying the best she could, it does the best she could, but it just doesn't work out in her favor. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts of Melty? I'm not talking about, of course, you know who. I'm talking about the younger one, the blue haired girl herself. What are your thoughts about her? Again, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more anime content, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.